one of the hardest workers at Clove. He's always putting the work in at the gym, giving us the listens. I appreciate it. Uh, I also want to give a shout out to Steve Bazil, another great man at Clove there. <laughs> Definitely a pleasure being around those guys. And uh, before we get started, the Yankees, we're also going to give out uh, Max Lock of the Day, sponsored by uh, the Research Analytics Department at 24 Clove. All right, guys, we're going to roll with the Angels tonight. They're going up against Oakland. Barry Zito Whoa. is throwing for the A's. He's still Barry, alive? You he's remember that name? Metropolitan Museum of Art? I don't remember that name. Barry Easy, Zito. Kyle, easy. Oh, my goodness. What's he think he's doing going up against the Angels looking for a spot? What is he actually going to contend? Garrett Richards tonight is going for the A's. Angels are a lot, guys. For all the parents that listen out there, throw the mortgage on it. The Angels are winning tonight. That's a guarantee. <laughs> You got Mike Trout, too, so that that's definitely... Mike Trout might have eight RBIs tonight. Oh, my gosh, Mike Trout. Yeah, don't get Bruno talking about Mike Trout and the baseball gods. He swears there's baseball gods that, uh, it, what, threw, threw Mike Trout in the air? Well, he's still convinced that Juan Lagares is better in center than Mike Trout. I mean, Please get- stop the madness right now. I can think of about three center fielders right now that are better than uh, Juan Lagares, Mr. Adam Jones, Mr. Mike Trout, and Mr. Andrew McCutcheon. We'll see you later. <laughs> Anyways, moving on to the New York Yankees. I mean, I don't even want to talk about the games with the Red Sox. They're making the Red Sox look like the 9 Red Sox. I know Steve Bazell's talking about that, but you know, Steve, your team's going to be golfing in a few days, and our team's going to be playing a big game, so let's keep quiet. Anyways... It's looking like a one-game take-all wildcard matchup with the Astros or Angels. Now, what do you what, you guys want to start off with the Astros? Let's start off with a preview of the Astros. Sure. Now, if we play the Astros, we we already know we're pitching Tanaka. We're going to be facing Keiko, a good lefty, had a great year, um, but he's struggled a little of late. He's been a little suspect of late. Um, first half is a lot better than second half. What do you see from him, uh, Brooke? Well, I mean, he shut the Yanks down last time. But I think that the Yanks, uh, be, because of that, that helps the Yankees a little bit. They know what they didn't do against Keiko, so that'll help them focus on what they need to do. I think they'll hit him around a little bit. I see Tanaka coming out and and uh, and throwing really well. I think they met, match up better against the Astros than they do the Rangers, though, for sure. Okay. Um, now, that, that's what I had. I said he's shown a little vulnerability. Um <laughs> Now, Mike, with the Yankees lefties, they got a lot of lefties in the lineup. And now, I don't know if you heard, the gods have been with us. Steven Drew is now out for the remainder of the season with illness, a.k.a. do not play. They probably got him some concoction to get him sick because they wanted him out of the lineup. Uh, but he's out of the lineup, so now it's either Ruff Schneider or Ackley at second base. I think, obviously, that's an easy decision. But when it doesn't get so easy... It's when you got a lefty on the mound. Now, you start in Ackley because you already got Gardner, McCann, and Ellsbury. You want four lefties in a lineup against a lefty? Um, maybe if they're spread out a little bit, but Ackley's definitely actually had the hot hand recently, which has been pretty surprising to me, but oh my it's definitely a great uh, addition, it seems to be. So Cashman made a small move that ended up helping oh, out. But What a Yankee Stadium hitter. Brock, what do you think about that? I think he is hot, surprisingly. But but then you look at Texas, and what, are they going to beat Cole Hamels, too? I mean, it's it's going to be a lefty matchup either way. You mean the Angels? I'm you sorry, think, yeah. Yeah, because, I mean, I mean the, don't get me wrong. The Rangers could blow it, but the Rangers are looking good right now. That was, at one point, what a matchup I really feared. But you, what, what do you, uh, with the Astros, you think you, you go with four? Four lefties? In a row, no. Like Mike said, you got to spread them out a little bit. But uh, you you got to throw your chips on the table and hope that you know you can scratch some runs across the board because I think Tanaka is going to keep you in the game, and that's what matters. Yeah, and and I think I say go ahead, start Ackley, because even though it's lefty versus lefty, we're playing in Yankee Stadium, as Bru- Tyler Bruno would call it, the, the smallest park. A little league, I can hit it out of there, as he says. <laughs> but, you know, there's a small park. I think it's a smart move to start Ackley. Now... A little of Keiko's numbers. He's fifteen and zero at home, but four and eight away. So I mean, that's a big deal. That's obviously very, very different pitcher you're getting on the road. Um, Bruckner, you mentioned it. August twenty fifth, pitch against the Yankees in Yankee Stadium. But it wasn't much of a game. It was fifteen to one. It was an ugly game. Yikes! I think I, I'd throw that out the window. I don't think that matchup really means anything. I think with a one game take all playoff. It's gonna. I would throw that. I don't think that means much. Now getting to Tanaka, on the Yankees side, 
Are we going to get the ace Tanaka or are we going to get the average 2 3 Tanaka? What are I, we getting, Mike? We're definitely going <clears> to, <throat> between tonight with Tanaka throwing, we're going to have to see how he's throwing. But I definitely like Tanaka as he's coming out tonight. I know it's a little iffy weather today in the Bronx. It's not going to be too favorable. Mm -hmm. But it's getting, it's almost October. It's October tomorrow. You got to. I, I expect Tanaka to come out dealing tonight with the back end of their bullpen. I think. Tonight, and we can't get too ahead of ourselves with this wild card game. I think tonight's a very, very big game for the Yankees I and agree. Tanaka. I think six innings, if you go to the quality start uh, stat, he at least needs to throw up six innings of quality pitch, two run or less baseball. Mm -hmm. And then I think you got to get to that bullpen mm -hmm. as quick as possible tonight and in the playoffs. Now, moving on to the Astros, obviously, the Astros are a, a very power-heavy team. I mean, they swing for the fences, and they strike out a lot. So that could either play to Tanaka's advantage, or it can't. Now, Tanaka always seems to be hit by the home run ball. So are we going to get the Tanaka that has that splitter work and diving under their bats and getting a lot of swing and misses? Or are we going to get the Tanaka that lets one up and uh, home runs into the bleachers, Max? What do we get? And that's going to be the question is can he get that split down in the dirt below the knees? You know, I mean, if he has that, we'll know by the first three innings. I, I think I'll feel comfortable. If, if that splitter's go, going like uh, got that good action to it, I think we'll see the Yankees hop out to a nice lead, whether it's two, three runs. And I think Tanaka will settle in and he'll give us a good start. I think the only way it could really go bad for us is if it's like, oh, God, in the first inning, he's hanging pitches. And, you know, they get Carlos Corpran or whatever. It's a bomb into the uh, right field bleachers. Yeah, and I think Tanaka, is, he's ready to go. I mean, his last three starts have been all qualities, including seven shutout against Toronto mm -hmm. at home. So I think he's going to be ready to go tonight. He's in playoff form already. So he's just going to be looking to fine-tune some things for uh, that wild card game. Yeah, um, and I think when it comes to Tanaka, he's never pitched in, in a big game like this before. This will be – I mean, he's pitched in that big Blue Jays game a few weeks ago, um, pitched well. But I think this is the first – this is where he's got to earn his money. I mean, this is what the Yankees brought him over here for. This is what the Yankees are about, not winning wild card games, Steve Brazil, winning championships. But this is how we're going to get there. Um, but Tanaka, I think – has the stuff to be an ace? Will we see the ace Tanaka? I think we do. The Yankees are moving on. And who do you guys think? I, I haven't really checked the standings. Who are we looking at the Yankees playing? Is It It could possibly be the Blue Jays, right? I'm not sure how the... Uh... I think... I mean, I think the Royals are ahead. Maybe. or Either the Royals or Blue Jays. Who would you Who would you guys like to see uh, them, the Yankees playing? Honestly, even though the Blue Jays have been hot, I don't think they're... With the Yankees and uh, especially the starting pitching, how it's been a little shaky, I think the five-game series definitely is more favorable than a seven. Mm -hmm. So, give me the Blue Jays. Give me the Blue Jays right away. Do you away. want to go into in the Rogers nuts. Center? I don't want the Blue Jays. Give me the Blue Jays. I think you're nuts. I don't think it I, matters. I, I, underst I understand yeah, that. I think the Blue Jays are going to win the World Series. <laughs> I got to come clean. That team is unbelievable. What, are they going to beat the Royals? I don't think it matters. They're, they're not getting out of that five-game series. They'll, no? You're not even giving them a chance? No chance whatsoever. They're not handling either of those teams. They're going to They're gonna be. It's gonna be a quick exit for the Yanks this postseason. Oh, my gosh. Don't tell me that. Give the Red Sox a better shot Spoken than the Yanks. like a true Red Sox fan, ladies and gentlemen. Um, what do you think, Mike? I, you're standing here shaking your head. You look like you want to chop Bruckner's head off. <laughs> think about for what aspect of it. Are the Yankees going to be eliminated in three games if no. they're in the wild card? No. No, Bruckner. They, I'll give them a game, but I'm not giving them a whole nother round. Yeah, no, I, I'll admit, that's going to be a tough series. But who would you want to see, Mike? You said the Blue Jays. Who would you want to see the Yankees? If, if you, Let's say this. If you were, if, if the Yankees move on yep. and Troy Tulitsky's back, you want to see the Blue Jays? Give me the Blue Jays. Give, give me, the give, Blue me Jays. give me David Price on the mound. Give me Whoa. have it be game 5. Have it be at their place. Give me the Yankees and we're going against them and we're bringing the bats. All right. Well, I think I I think what's going to end up happening is the Yankees are going to play the Blue Jays cuz I think the Blue Jays are one game up right now of the uh Royals. That just shows how the Blue Jays have been absolutely ridiculous the second half. Some 40 and 18 record in the second half. I mean, that's just unbelievable. Um and I don't want to look ahead too much. Obviously, the Yankees have to win that one-game playoff. Um, 
And so before uh, we continue to talk about, you know, their possible matchup in the division round, which Bruckner doesn't even think they're going to even show up to play, um, what about the Angels? This team, what have they, they've been counted out so many times at every point this year. I mean, there was a month ago where they were just had – they. They were just another disappointing Angels team. And, and now they've kind of got a little resurgence towards the end. My question to you, Bruckner, is you seem to be a big Garrett Richards fan. And that's what we'd be facing in this one-game playoff, right? Yeah, yeah. Now, what's the what What makes him – I know he's got good stuff. I, I pitched with him in MLB to show and all that. But tell me why he's he could even compete in this one-game playoff. Because to be honest, as a Yankee fan, I'm saying bring, on, bring the Angels on. He is dominant, flat-out dominant. He's got the stuff to go out there and shove for a full nine. He's got stuff like no, like very few guys do in the MLB. He dots up 97 with a split change that's just lights out, a slider at your back foot to lefties. I think even though the, the Yanks are lefty-heavy, they're going to have trouble with that slider on that back foot of Garrett Richards. So I think it's going to be an interesting matchup if that is the matchup we see. Um, but I think the Angels right now are... are Firing all cin- cylinders, they got it going. They got momentum. They ju- they're playing the A's. They get to spank the A's for a little while before they head into that game. So I think that look out for the Angels. I mean, it's it's crazy how s- things change because I can remember a series uh, in I think early August where the Yankees were playing the Rangers, and it was right before they made that Cole Hamels trade. And at that point, the Rangers were not even a conversation for the playoffs. The Astros were rolling. And it's been really surprising. This is the, the reason why, you know, I I still would want to play the uh, Angels over the Astros, but the Astros don't scare me as much anymore because they're a reeling team. Yeah, they, they are, are not been the same team in the second half. And, and, I, and I think it's been a bit of a wake up call for the Angels too, because I think right after that All Star break, when Mike when Mike Trout came out a little bit cold, mm-hmm. the Angels get they got too reliant on Mike Trout to do everything. Yeah. He was doing everything that first half. He slowed down a bit, and now it's. Guys like Pujols, the veterans, who are saying, okay, Trout, this isn't just you. We're going to all step in, and right now I think it's working for him. Yeah, surprisingly, there was actually a moment of part of the season where Mike Trout actually seems somewhat human, and then he does stuff crazy like making that catch the other night in center field, which is just crazy because his athleticism, he he's a competitor, as much as a competitor as Arietta has been lately, and I don't know. If you, if you want to see a good baseball player, watch Mike Trout every day of your life, and it'd be great. Some good advice to all the youngsters out there listening. All right, now I got a little surprise for you guys. I want to throw this into the show to end on. Two days, we got the the future MAC champs starting up again in the Iona basketball team. Now, I know I'm joined by two uh, – one semi fan, you know, he, I know he likes them, and one one super fan like myself um, about Iona basketball. And boy, do, do we got a good team this year. What are you feeling? I like our schedule. I I can't wait to see this team on the court. It's always fun seeing them come out. I mean, when you're talking about a mid major Division one program, it's always it's always a good time going to see them. Even though with the small pack gym here at Heinz. But high school gym, you mean? <laughs> yeah, it's pretty small. High school gym with nice scoreboards, right? When you come from when you come from a town of about nine thousand people, anything seems a little John bit Watt? bigger. But did I say it right? No. Nah. Nah. But anyways, <laughs> of course, um, nothing's ever right. I think it's always fun, as much as they've never emphasized defense quite as much as sometimes people oh, argue. They it, don't play defense. I don't think they mentioned let's, defense. Yeah, let's not sugarcoat it. They don't play defense. They don't They're play running defense. Guns. We're going to beat teams in the max simply because we are way better than them. I saw AJ English walking out of Spanish, as ironic as that is, uh, and he looked like he wanted a MAC championship. He looked like he was ready to drop 45 on Niagara. <laughs> He's always ready to drop 45 points, without a doubt. I no. think it's 30-5 and five in the MAC for Iona Gales. And it's a first Three round. And five? You think they're gonna lose? Wait, are you saying overall record? They're overall not record. That many games in the MAC. All right, listen. Nah, yeah. I it don't is... think they lose more than two games in the MAC this year. No way. Don't tell me one of them's to Manhattan. I I cannot lose to them again this year. We just can't lose the important one to Manhattan. Yeah, That's what matters. I don't care if they actually scratch it. I don't think they're gonna lose, but I don't care. Just don't break my heart again in the final. It oh. is. It is a first round <clears throat> NCAA tournament win. Or bust year for the Gales. They need a victory if in the tournament. If they don't win it this year, they're never going to win it. Their team is their team is by far the best in the MAC. I think they they put to I 
I think this is what I'll tell you though. They will start 0 and 2. Well, how many prove times? Me, prove me wrong, Cedric Casimir and AJ English and Isaiah Williams. Prove me wrong, but Valpo and Oregon State, it's looking like 0 and 2. How many times are we going to say that this is the year for the Gills? When's it going When's it going to happen? Exactly. When are we going to see a tournament victory? Can we, can we in in the final season for me and Bruckner? Can we see can we see a championship? And not only a championship, but let's win a game in the tournament. Let's go up against a, a Villanova or a – no, they'll, they would kill us. Let's, let's chill, go. chill. Um, That's a good run and gun pace. I don't know. Yeah. I like that matchup. Yeah, I mean, I, let's let's just see a good showing in the tournament. And please don't blow a lead again. I mean, but like you said, it's way too early. Let's see the team on the court. I think they got a lot of scoring, which could be very, very good, but it could be a problem. I think – is there enough ball to go around there in Clueland? Yeah, I think you got to work. Uh, you got to work in the big man, the new big man, a little bit. Gotta, oh, please, just rebound the ball. I know that that's a problem. As you see that as a problem, uh, having to feed the big man. Yeah, big problem. They shoot too many threes. That kid's gonna. That kid's not gonna touch the ball. Look at Lowry last year. He barely touched the ball on the post. Yeah, they don't need to. Just crash the boards, pal. Kick it back out. We'll be good. Exactly. Kick it back out. And just a little quick stat here. We return th- the best trio of three-point shooters in the country. More three-pointers made by Isaiah Williams, AJ English, and Cedric Kazmir as a trio than anyone else in the country last year. I did it this summer as a stat with Brian Byer. It's, it's gonna, this is the year for Gales. What is it, Brock? NCAA or bust? NCAA tournament victory or bust for the Iona Gales. Now, Mike, what what are you thinking? Are you are you? Are you I I, I just want to dance. That's for sure. You just want to dance. You don't really care. <laughs> we we want to dance. I mean, who doesn't want to? Um, definitely, Matt Lasella is. Uh, he wants to be dancing too. He's <laughs> he's the Maroon Maniacs are going crazy. I there. need a victory. I need to mad bum a couple high knees and I need to do some dancing. Now I think I think it's going to be an exciting year for the program. Like I said, it starts. It all starts Friday. The road to a MAC championship. Uh, the home openers against Delaware. Not many great home games this year for the Gales, but they're going to be a fun team to watch. Um, very excited to see what Tim Clues can do with this bunch. See if they actually listen to him this year. But uh, I think it's going to be a good year. Excited to see uh, what we got. And with that. It's going to wrap up our show for the day. I want to thank Max for coming on first time. What did you think, Max, in New York Sports? Oh, I enjoyed it. I'll be back, Kyle. Thanks for having me. Oh, uh, thank Mike, always a pleasure. Thank Thanks you, for Kyle. Your knowledge. Uh, we'll be back next week, and hopefully we come back with a nice Yankees W, and we can talk Yankees, Royals, slash Blue Jays. All right, thanks for listening, everyone. This is New York Sports Club on WICR. I'm Kyle DeVico signing off.